Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penj and welcome back to Academia School Simulator and the Geek Cupboard Academy. And last time out, we tried our very best, we tried our absolute hardest to try and stop students leaving due to being hungry. And despite all of our absolutely fantastic efforts, it was all for nothing because they are still leaving. And I was going to say in their droves, but they're not leaving in their droves. They're leaving in their very consistent numbers, which I suppose is at least useful. I suppose we can at least realise how many we're going to lose. So each day we seem to be losing five students. Five students a day are leaving, apart from on day one. Because I imagine on day one they come in and they go, oh, hang on a minute, I couldn't get any food. I'm a little bit grumpy about that. I'll go home, I'll tell mum and dad, and they'll go, oh dear me, that's not very good. Tomorrow if there's no food, we shall make you leave the school. And they come back and day two comes around, they don't get any food, and then so they leave. So as you can see, we've had day two, three, four, and five. So we've had uh, day six has just started. Day six has only just begun. So we've had days two, three, four, and five, and on each of those days, we have lost five people. We started with 500, we're down to 480. Now that is not in itself too bad a thing. 480 students is very good, but our income is very bad. <laughs> so we only earn now 57,600. I'm going to say only. I say only earn that. I mean, that's quite a lot of money. But our expenses are 58,466. So obviously that doesn't tally up and we are losing money. So we can't really do much about that. It's just something that I think is now part of the game. Maybe it'll be fixed in a future version. Maybe they'll do something about it. Maybe it's just how it works. Maybe I should get cheaper teachers because then they would bring the wage bill down. But I don't want the cheaper teachers. I want the best teachers. I want the really good teachers with the fancy kind of degree level thing, the special ones, because I just think that's better. It means that we're more likely to get passes, which means we get this thing as an A, which is good, passing rate of A and pedigree of A. And you know, I mean, this thing is really good. This is what we're doing it for, really, isn't it? You know, for the for the future of the kids and their performance and making sure they're prepared educationally for the future. I mean, we're not doing it for the massive piles of cash, are we? Well, maybe we're doing it a little bit for piles of cash. So what we're going to do today, because we can't actually change anything really in here, I don't think there's anything else we can do. We kind of followed some of the advice from the devs, but it didn't seem to work. You know, we took out the vending machines as well. I forgot about that. We took out all of the vending machines. There's no vending machines. <laughs> this is a bit of a tragedy because now there's only the cafeteria. So we're not going to be making money off the vending machines. So we tried all of that. It didn't work. It just didn't work. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try and get to the end of year 10. So we've got day six, seven, eight and nine to get through. So let's just move time on nice and fast. And whilst the school just runs itself, it's just going to happily tick over. You know, the janitors are going to clean. The cooks are going to cook. The kids are going to hopefully learn some stuff and also you know, probably cause some trouble and be a little bit naughty and all that kind of stuff. Everyone can just get on with doing what they're doing. We are going to go over here and rejig this. So we set up this blueprinted area ages ago now. I can't remember when we set this up. Four parts ago, five parts ago, I don't know. Some time has passed since we did this. And at the time, it was perfectly sensible. We had plans for all these different things. We knew what was going on with these rooms. There were going to be you know, the special rooms, like the music rooms, the libraries, and all that kind of stuff. And there was going to be some classrooms here. And all these ones across the top were going to be classrooms. And then we realised that we can only have... I think, I think we're pretty certain about this when we can check at the end of the year, but I think we can only have at maximum 500 students in the school at any one time. So that means that our plan to make these classrooms across the top here is scuppered because we don't need that many classrooms. We just don't need all those classrooms. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out so these classrooms are going to be moved up here. They're going to be relocated up there. And then we're going to turn those into some uh, lovely sort of special rooms, like, you know, the art rooms and all that kind of stuff. So we'll turn those into special rooms. And then over here, up to just here, there's our first dropout. Brianna Musson has dropped out. Yeah, there we go. So one of five has happened. So up to here will be classrooms. And then we've got a gap just here of nothingness at the moment. We've got nothing to put in there right now. So we need to figure out what we want to do with that. And then also we could now rejig this a little bit. We could try and make this a little bit bigger because this is our field area. So this was going to be outside and this was going to mimic this down here. But the track is a special kind of outside PE type area that is used by, and I shall have to refresh my brain on this. So the track is used by sophomores. So the sophomores have only got one track to go to. And then other than that, they have to go into regular fields, which is fine. So I think the freshmen's only go into the fields. The sophomores have tracks. Who has the pools? The juniors get access to the pool and the seniors get access to the basketball courts. 
Now in here, there's two pools, which is okay, and there's one, two, three basketball courts. So there's a bit of a sort of difference in what we've got. One field, uh, one track, sorry, two swimming pools and three courts. So I think we re need to rejig this a bit. We need to get ourselves another swimming pool in because that would be nice. That would make sense. And then maybe another two tracks just to make it look a bit better so it could feel a bit more complete. So we need to rejig this. There's another dropout. Bye-bye, Lila Butt. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> it's just become ordinary now. Oh, look, our money's coming down. Right you are. So let's clear all of that stuff there. We'll clear that because who knows what that's going to be. And then also, do you know what? I'm very tempted to just bin the entire lot of blueprinting. I'm very tempted to just bin the whole thing. Go, right, do you know what? No, away with it. So let's do that. Let's annihilate that. There we go. It's all gone. No blueprinting. So one thing we are going to put in, though, is that there. I think we'll just make that two special rooms. We'll just have two specialist rooms, split it sort of down the middle, and we'll have a science room and an art room or whatever. We'll have two nice rooms just there. That'll be fine. And then we need to work out what we want to do with this. So we want to get ourselves an outside -y sort of area, but we also want to have two tracks. So how big are they going to be? How big is a track? Let's have a look. So it needs to be in an area as well. So it's not like you can just put the track down. It has to actually be in a sort of a track area. Um, so let's make it... Uh, 19 by 1. Oh, I can't draw. Hang on. Why can't I draw down on the blueprint tool? Why is it not letting me do that? Okay, whatever. It needs to be at least 19. I think it's got to be 19 across and 11 down. So how about then we go to uh, object outline for the first one. So there's going to be a fence somewhere around here. This is going to be a fence. So an actual fence to the outside world. So we're not sort of, you know, we're not doing track and field inside. That would be silly. And then floor outline. Uh, right, tracks. Hang on. Tracks. Can you rotate a track? No. So it has to go out like that. So it has to be 19 across. Okay, yeah, so that, that is one track. So we could put the track there, and that actually is not too bad an area. If we just make it a couple wider and then match those up. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely, yeah. So if we then go object outline, there to there, bring that down to, say, there, and that across... Now that's gone a bit strange. Hang on, why why has it done that? Why has it done two of those? That, uh, edit undo. <laughs> Erase this. Away with you. Um, so yeah, is that is that about right? So that fits quite nicely in the middle. And there's room around the edge to put the benches and the water machine and all that kind of bump that they want. So that fits quite nicely into there. So then we're going to want another one of those. And it fits pretty nicely next to it. It just fits quite nicely just there. So let's get another one of those. So we'll put another blueprinted thing in just there. So we'll go, uh, what was it? Object outline. We'll come along here and along here. Right, hang on. How big is that? So 20. So how big is that there? So 19, 20. So we want to put that to there, that to there, that to there. That's going to be our two. Hang on, is that now 20? Yes. That's 20 and that's 20. For some reason, the one on the right looks smaller to me. I don't know why. It's a weird optical illusion thing. Maybe because it's over here or whatever. So that's fine. And then... We could, do we want to get ourselves, if we put object outline, put that there, and then we could probably fit a field in here. So we're going to put a door along here somewhere, whatever. A door can go, no, oh, that doesn't even work. <laughs> the door thing doesn't really appear very well in there. So we'll put a door along here, and then we could have a couple of fields. Or we could just have one, one big field or two smaller fields, and then that could do for the outside. We've got plenty of fields down here. We've got one, two, three, four fields down there. So we could... Oh, day rolling round. We're going to lose a big pile of monies. We're going to lose... How much are we losing? I'm not even looking at it now. 1,466 monies. Yay! <laughs> Brilliant news. So yeah, so we can get that in. Two tracks. A field or two down here. Do we want to put more fields across the bottom? Or will... How many fields would we have? One, two, three, four five, six fields. So at any one point, we could have six juniors, uh, not juniors, freshmen, sorry, using the um, using the fields. So is that going to happen at any one point? I think six seems absolutely plenty. The only thing is, yeah, we would have a bit of a problem with if they're learning up here, they're going to have to walk quite a long way down to here or over there. But that's tough. That's that They're in that corner. If they're in that corner, it's PE time. You've got to get walking. <laughs> that's the rules. We can't have fields everywhere. It's just not going to work. So I think that's fine. So we'll do that. So that can be a wall. 
So we'll have a wall outline going to there. And that means that we'll have a door across here, fence across there, track, track, couple of fields, sorted. That's the outside corner done. So yeah, if we just put that in the middle to remind us what that's going to be. Yes, look at that. That's good. And then the fields can just sort of sit like that. We can have five by six and then five by five. That'll do. That will fit the students in fine. And then, yeah, that'll be lovely. So that's the outside bit sorted. Then we need to figure out what we want to do over here. So now what do we want to do with this? So let's get ourselves a wall outline. And I think that can just be, that's going very odd. That can be a corridor that goes all the way to there and all the way along to there. So that corridor can come round that way. And then we've got a bit of a block in the middle. So let's go for here. So we'll have another corridor coming down here to follow this one going up. Erase you, farewell. And then we need to figure out, yeah, what's going to go in here? What's going to go in here? We do want to get ourselves another swimming pool. Uh, because, yeah, a school with two swimming pools just isn't good enough. We definitely need three swimming pools around this place. So we could get ourselves a pool. How big are the pool areas? Uh, oh, it doesn't like going... It doesn't like zooming in with the mouse wheel when it's going on super speed. It has a very, very big problem with that. Uh, let's just grab, I don't know, floor outline or something. If we draw that round there. So 13 by 6 is big enough to have a pool and sufficient benches and the little drinking machine thing. So 13 by 6. But it has to be sort of that way. We can't have it sort of uh, oriented the other way because it just doesn't let us turn it round. So how are we going to do that? So it's got to be 13 wide. So it's going to be like that. If we put it there, that would be where the pool would go. And then we could bring that down. What if we put it there? 13 by 6. Um, like that. So it could either go there or there. But then that leaves a very small space just there for a room. But it's three wide. It could be a toilet. We could put a toilet just here. Oh, how exciting indeed. So yeah, if we do that... Put that there. That could be a toilet, just a small toilet. It doesn't matter. It seems to be whether there is a zone for a toilet rather than the amount of actual toilet facilities in there. So that could do for that. So we'll erase this out of existence. Right, goodbye. And then I think maybe we have another little corridor area coming off here. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> Look at that. That corridor would come across there really beautifully, but now it might have to be a bit lower which means that that's just going to look all sorts of terrible. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. That'll just look really naff. Um, do you know what? We'll have to just bite the bullet, I think. I think we're going to then make that a little corridor area going across uh, like that and like that. And we'll erase that bit and erase that bit and erase that bit. And, th and then we'll put that back in because that shouldn't have got erased. So yay, <laughs> right, okay. And then we've got a couple of rooms here that we'll just make into special rooms. So that's fine. So we'll have ourselves... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. My school is filthy. I Okay, this, this is a surprise. We've not had anybody leave due to filth in the school. Janitors, janitors assemble. What are you doing? Sanitation. Okay, I mean, it's, it's been worse. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's been way worse. Did he have a bad a bad wee-wee experience? <laughs> Did he happen across a little a little puddle of whittles where he wasn't expecting there to be a puddle of whittles? Um, okay. Right. Is that a problem? Oh, I shouldn't have come out of that. Is, that. is that a problem there? I wasn't able to get food. I hate peeing in the bushes. I hate pooping in the bushes. The school should be cleaner. Yeah, you're doing the whole weeing and pooing in the bushes thing even though you shouldn't be able to access any bushes. At some point, at some point, all this is going to be filled in. There's going to be no bushes left. And then you can't use that as an excuse. There's no bushes out the front, unless you're talking about our lovely planters, <laughs> which I would really hope you're not going to the toilet in, because that would be somewhat terrible. Um, there are some bushes here. There are things here. In fact, what do, there is a bit across the road. What do we do with this? Are we allowed to demolish those those things? Oh, we are. Oh, do you know what? Builders, you're not going to be doing anything for a long old while. Take out all the bushes across the road, if you'd be so kind. Just get rid of those, because it'll give you something to do. I'm paying you guys. At the minute, you're not really doing anything. Right, let's get back to this. <laughs> there we go. But that gives them something to do. That's a bit of a shame. I hadn't, I hadn't really realised that someone was going to drop out due to filth. But there we go. Well, never mind. It's one person. I mean, we're losing everybody anyway. So <laughs> it's all fine. It's all fine. So now we need to change these around a bit. So that's going to be a toilet. That should suffice. 
Couple of special rooms there. Couple of special rooms there. Big outside area just there. There's a swimming pool. What do we want to do with these? We're possibly... Ah! I wonder if up here we want to get ourselves a faculty lounge. Or... No, where? Oh, no, there's a staff lounge there. I think maybe a staff lounge and a faculty lounge just here. Although there is a faculty lounge just there. Maybe a staff lounge up here would not be a bad thing. So make one of those a staff lounge. And then also... We could do with another staff toilet. Goodbye, Sigrid Buttermore. <laughs> it's happy that you're dropping out because there's never enough food. There is not more butter. And so maybe, maybe we break this up and have a staff loo and then a very big staff room. Because that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm not bothered about the size of the staff room. So it could be nice and big. It's that they don't have much in the way of staff rooms. So I've got one little, well, staff lounge, one there, which isn't very big. That one's okay. So this one up here could be possibly a little bit more grandiose. Let's let's do that. Let's treat them. And uh, Sid Yurkovich has also gone. Bye bye, Sid. I'm sorry to see you go, but you know what? You do what you got to do, Sid. Okay, so let's do that. So we'll draw that into there. That can be the staff loo. So that can be a regular toilet for the students. Gender neutral loo. That can be a staff loo. Um, I mean, do we want to split that up into two anyway? How big is that going to be? Eight and oh ten. Oh, that's that's slightly unfair. That's not in the middle at all. Uh, wall, 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 wall. There, there we go. Well, we could just split that up into two. Staff room, faculty lounge. If the teachers are over this side, they can nip to the faculty lounge, have a little sit down. That's fine. I think we'll do that. Staff room, faculty lounge, staff loo, regular loo, and then that just leaves us with this this person playing guitar. No, this <laughs> this space here. What do we want to do with this? Because these rooms and sort of what one, two, three, four, five normally. Five seems a good height for these. So one, two, three, four, five and a wall. One, two, three, four, five and a wall. Oh, okay. That works out not too bad. So they could be special rooms, a little bit bigger. Now this could be interesting. Split that down the middle. So that's five. So some of these are five and some of them are six. That's all good. Now how wide is that? Like, how wide is this room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not going to be big enough, is it? Is that going to be big enough to fit in all of these things? I'm not entirely convinced. I am not convinced that's going to work. Bye-bye, Nathaniel Purves. I, I apologise, there's never enough food, but never mind. The other thing is our money is going up, which is quite nice, due to the um, cafeteria money. So it goes up in the day and then comes back down again at the start of the day. Unless, unless we bin this corridor in the middle, maybe we don't need that corridor. It's just a superfluous thing. Let's get rid of that, perhaps. Change that round, and then we'll make the walls go up to there, like so. And then we'll take out that bit there and that bit there. Okay, so how big are these rooms if we need to flip them round? Oh, yes. Can we do that? And how wide are they again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're eight wide. So these are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're 11. So we can't make them 11 wide because then we're just going to have a bit of room at the end that's not, that's just going to look silly. So could we make them? Oh, that's not going to work either, is it? It's not going to be an exact science here. So if we go for 11, if we say, all right, that's where it's going to be. So if it was like that, we could have a series of rooms coming down like that. That room's going to be a bit small. That's, you know what? That's fine. We've got that. And then we can have a room just here. So a room just here to, to do what in? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Or two rooms. We could have two smaller rooms. So we could split that up quite nicely. Okay, let's keep that then. And then, is there anything we desperately need? We don't need a clinic. We don't need any foodie stuff. We've got pools. We've got all the other stuff. It is just putting in these things, isn't it? It's just putting in the um, the the special rooms. That's all we're doing with that. It's just special rooms. So, okay. So we'll just try and work out how best to fit special rooms in. We do need another computer lab. Um, oh, the Zoom thing. <laughs> It's just very bizarre. Um, I mean, they only need to be four high. They don't need to be very big. I wonder if we can take that out. Say, okay, that wall can go one, two, three, four. That can go just there. And that looks about like that. So split that in the middle. There. That's nice. And one, two, three, four, five. Then do another one, two, three, four, five. 
put that across there, and then erase that, and then go wall outline, like that, like that. That's one, two, three, four, yes. Okay, that's what we're gonna run with, I think. Oh, and a wall just there, of course. I think that is the best we're gonna do. I don't think we can do anything more than that. Also, it's 6.30 p.m. in the evening and we're all still here. Can we go home? Thank you, yay. <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna lose another big pile of monies, but it is coming around to day eight, which is lovely. So, um, so yeah, let's just think about what we've got. Let's recap, shall we? So two rooms here, specialist rooms, that'll be fine. We don't need anything else up there. We don't need toilets. We don't need uh, courts or anything like that. I think that's gonna be absolutely fine. So they can go just there, two special rooms. We'll pick what we want with those. We'll just, just count the number of rooms up or whatever. Uh, field, field, track, track, outside area, lots of grass and all that kind of stuff. Corridor coming round here. And then just here we shall have ourselves a swim pool, which is fine. Here we'll have a gender neutral toilet. Here we'll have a staff toilet, staff room, faculty lounge. And then special room, special room, special room. And then more special rooms just there. And then possibly a couple of these could be computer rooms. There could be computer labs. And then other special rooms. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And then it'll be full. I mean, it'll take a long while. Well, I said a long while. It'll probably take another couple of years, I would have thought. I imagine by the end of year 12. So year, oh, actually, I don't know. Maybe three more years. By the end of year 13, I would expect all that to be full. I would expect all that to be filled up. I mean, we have got a bit of a question of, do we want to do anything with this stuff on the outside? Do we want to do anything with this? Do we want to pave it or anything like that? It could look really pretty if we were able to actually do something with it. Also, they have gone and done the other side of the road. I kind of feel like now we need to do the other side of the road. Also, who is that? There's someone just stood at the side of the road. Hang on, do a super zoom. Super zoom. Who are you? Morris Lines, just hanging out. Just hanging out by the side of the road, <laughs> like you do. Uh, you've been fed. Your, your, your toileting is absolutely lovely. You're well rested. You're very excited. You're very clean and you're very safe. <laughs> I would argue about your safety. You're stood on the side of a road. But okay, fine. You stand there and stand on the side of the road. It's all fine. So yeah, I think that's, that's about the best we're going to get. We do want to put another common area just there as well when we have a bit more money. So right now... We shall move time on. I, I genuinely don't think there's anything else we can do. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Students absent due to sickness. Okay, six is actually pretty good for day eight. Six students off sick on day eight is actually very good. It normally escalates up and up and up. So that's not too bad. So I think we've covered everything. I think we've covered everything. And now we just need the money. We just need the monies to come in. And then we can get on with building some of this. We won't get it all in. It's not going to happen. We're not going to get everything, but we'll get some of it. And that is absolutely fine. Let's just quickly check on this again. Satisfaction. Uh, I wasn't able to get food. 383? 383 students weren't able to get food. Are you kidding me? There is enough food and space to eat. 86 students. Um. Okay. Academia, are you feeling okay? Are you feeling all right, Academia? How many how many um, things have we got? Hang on, go to normal speed because the zoom is just is not good. So one, two, three, uh, three food counters with food in. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ele eleven, eleven. Ah, of course, the calculation for how much food we're getting has come down because we have lost a certain amount of students. Now, if I recall correctly. And I am just looking around for my phone, <laughs> so I can't do that sum in my head. It was number of students divided by 40 rounded up makes the number of little food crate things they get. So let's say this morning we had 469 divided by 40 is 11.725. So I would have expected 12 lots of food to be out for people. But I cannot see 12 unless I've missed it. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's only eleven. Okay, yeah, I'm suspecting there's something going a bit wrong there as well. And also, why, why are all of a sudden all of the students complaining about a lack of food? <laughs> That's not good either, is it? All of them. 
not just a few of them, absolutely well, most of them, most of the kids are saying there's not enough food. Right, we'll have to keep our eye on that as well. So uh, 2,186 we're losing per day. We've got 11 grand, so that should be okay. Some of this stuff is going to come out and be replaced up here, so we're not going to pay... Well, we are going to pay, but we're going to get the money back on all the tables and chairs that we're taking out of here that we can then put up there. So that's not so bad. So at the moment, I think it's just going to be a case of waiting. There is nothing much that we can do except keep an eye on what's going on in the world of food and just make sure the kids are actually coming in and getting a place to sit and they're eating and all that kind of stuff. And then, and then we just wait for the end of year 10. There's only two days left. I said day eight to come and day nine tomorrow. How are they doing academically? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Look at all these things. And they're all really ill. <laughs> Their health is all really low. All these sickly, unwell kids <laughs> sort of shambling around the school like zombies. Ugh, must get to language. <laughs> but, I mean, that okay, the hygiene's coming down as well. I'll forget that. Forget that. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good for health. But in terms of actual academic achievements, yeah, they're doing very well indeed, which bodes well for our end of year exams, which is excellent news. Uh, yeah, we just got to get there first. I don't think we'll go bankrupt. So it's just a case of sitting and watching and waiting. Do you know what I do find a little bit odd in this game? And I can sort of understand the reasons why it's a bit odd. But things break. We saw that. We've seen it many times. So the vending machines used to break and the toilets break down and you have to go and repair them if they're orange. If it goes red, it means it's completely fallen apart and you have to replace it with a new one. And I get that. You know, some of the things the vending machines probably do break and the benches in the cafeteria did used to break. Although I don't know if they do now or not. I'm not entirely sure. But one thing that never seems to break is something that I would have thought would be absolutely falling apart because it's being used by kids. And that is the chairs that are in the classrooms. Because the kids are going to sit on them, they're going to swing back on them, they're going to attack them with pens, they're going to scribble on them, they're going to smack them about. They're going to be sitting on them, you know, not properly. They're going to, because they're like the little ones with the, um, with the sort of tray that you can sort of fold in by the look of it. So they're going to be sitting on them, it's going to snap. These things never break. And I, I just thought they would be the prime candidate to fall apart. However, if you have got, as we have, 500 and, well, a minute, we've got 528 seats, so that's not really required. But, you know, if you've got 500 chairs in your school and they keep breaking, that's going to get very, very tedious to repair. So I can see why they've not done that. But, uh, yeah, it just it sort of strikes me as something that they should be falling apart. And maybe even the chairs in the common area because these are going to be even less looked after than these. At least these have got a teacher to say, stop swinging back on your chairs, stop you know, attacking, stop writing your names on it with a compass, that kind of stuff. Whereas these, this is the common era. This is just free-for-all stuff. They could be, I don't know, having sort of massive sort of wrestling matches, smacking each other over the head with these chairs, and these never break either. So who knows? Who knows? I guess it is because it would just be very, very laborious having to go round and fix all these things, or have a builder sort of work person on a route to go and repair all of those. It would be a little bit of a chore, so I can see why. But uh, yeah, it was just a thought that came to mind while I am sitting and waiting for stuff to happen. Also, the delivery truck is here. So let's see how many things they take away. Let's see how many crates of food. Now that person there is annoying because they've dropped something off. And then, yeah, look, they're just sort of dropping stuff off and they're not bothering to take it with them. They've just put it on there and they've gone, right, I've put that down, bye-bye. So we've got one person there no one else hiding behind the thing yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is being carried there by Edmund. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's still twelve. So I would expect to see twelve of these things full. But last time there were only eleven, which is a bit strange. So okay, right. Let's move time on then. So they're bringing them all in. Go and grab all the delivered food in their lovely little things. Uh, what is it for today? <laughs> What's for dinner today? Uh, well, you'd be surprised to know, kids, that it's bread, apples, meat and carrots. But it's that every day. I know. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're all so sick of it. So let's see how much they actually put out today. So they're doing that. I think that's the last. I know there's a little bit of food being cooked. So I think... These are the last things being prepared. That's the last pot of, of grot that's being prepared and chucked out into the food counters. So, pause time. One, two, three. There's five there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what's happening to the twelfth one? Why are they not cook it? We've had twelve deliveries. Now, see, maybe this is an issue as well. I don't know if the devs are still watching this, but that is a bit strange. Hang on, I'm just going to check. One, two, three, four, five. That's empty. Six, seven, eight, nine. Those two are empty. 10, 11, those two are empty. Yeah, there's something not quite right there. 
there's something not quite right. We seem to have cooked some, and then I don't know what's happened. Are the cooks just eating it all? <laughs> they're, just, they're going over to this corner of the kitchen, just going, quickly, eat the food. Eat the lovely food. What is it? You know what it is. Clint, you know exactly what the food is. It's the same every day. It's that delicious meat, apple, bread, carrot stew we make all the time. Oh, not again. <laughs> you, you know you love it, Clint. So Thurman Azor, which is a very, very excellent name. Thurman Azor. That's brilliant. Has dropped out. And I think we've got a couple more to drop out. And then that'll be it. But look at the amount we're losing per day. 3,146 monies. So that'll come down to, what, 3,000... 400-ish by the time the next two have dropped out. Now, the number's got a little bit skew if, hasn't it? It's got a little bit sort of off-kilter. It's not a nice round number anymore because um because that person dropped out because of the dirt. So really, if that wasn't for them, that will be on 462, I think. And then we'll lose another one anytime now. And then we'll lose another one just after 4 o'clock. 4.02, I think it is. Seems to be the prime leaving time for the fifth person of the day. We'll see if that still holds true. Cafeteria still giving us a little bit of income. There we go. Emily Himes. Bye-bye, Emily Himes. And let's just take a quick look at what's going on here then. So 384 still unable to get food. Uh, it just doesn't compute. They're still peeing and pooping in the bushes. Not entirely sure why. Everything else, though, looking very good. So, yeah, they're safe. So there's not lots of troublemakers. That is brilliant. Uh, the school show is clean. That's lovely. Oh, we've sorted that out. That was a problem. Okay, that's fine. We've sorted that out. That's good. I'm full of energy. Okay. <laughs> For the free Red Bull we give out at the door. That's helping then. Um, are there any drinks are available, everybody? I'm having fun in school. Yay. I should hope so, given that it's full of lots of lovely things I never had in the schools that I went to, like, you know, swim pools, basketball courts, a gazillion libraries, science labs you can just go into, music rooms, art rooms. Oh my goodness. There's so many things you can just wander into. So I'd hope you're having fun. And then, yeah, toilet stuff and then yeah only 76 students think there's enough food and space to eat i mean you've got a massive cafeteria with a gazillion tables in it there should be absolutely loads of room but okay let's just see then if i have a rude student where is this happening which one hang on is it you are you the rude student oh it's you Going to the principal's office. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would have thought Columbus Kuzminski there, in whatever class this is, as as they bounce a basketball, is possibly being a little bit disruptive. Unless, unless you're in, in um, what are we on? Seniors in classroom 20. Uh, can we see what that is? Where are seniors in classroom 20? What are you learning? If you're learning PE, then yes, that's fine. What time is it? 3.26. So... Now you're learning math. You're learning about mathematics and you're there bouncing a basketball around. I think that might possibly be a little bit distracting, but okay, you've put it away now. Well done. Yeah, there you go. Look, little sort of mathematics things appearing over their head. Stop bouncing that ball. <laughs> That's very distracting. You, off to the principal's office as well. And we're going to come up to the time when the last person's going to leave. It's all a bit tedious, but there we go. There's quite a lot of people in the, um, in the old clinic there. Again, the plague has hit, and we shall see. It's normally about 4.02 that it goes a bit wrong. So there we go, 4.02. There you go. Joey Ann Tyson has dropped out, and that's it. They're the last people to drop out, because this is it. This is the end of year 10. I can't believe we've got through to year 10. This is, it, this, this is brilliant. It's very good, and we've not closed down, even though we've been dealing with some weird bugs going on. Oh, hang on a minute. There's some... Uh, some things to fix. Whoa. <laughs> Extreme close-up again. Oh, fix the coffee machine. Absolute priority number one. And the toilet needs to be fixed as well. Is there anything else that needs to be fixed while we're while we're scootling around looking at things? Uh, yeah, there's a toilet just there. Also, I just realized I said the word scootling. Don't even know what that means, but there we go. It should be a word. Anything else? Anything else broken that's falling apart? Do you know what? There's quite a few things now. There's quite, there's quite a lot of things. Apart from that, Janice has just ran onto that toilet cubicle there. But okay, enjoy using the broken toilet cubicle. <laughs> All those other non-broken ones. You just have to go in a broken one. Well done. Hand sanitizer that's broken as well. Another hand sanitizer. To be fair, do we need that many hand sanitizers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's 15 hand sanitizers along this corridor. <laughs> Is that excessive? Maybe we'll look at that in the build phase. Maybe that's something we can take a look at in the build phase. Uh, somebody in one of the comments on the previous video did say, you've got quite a lot of hand sanitizers. I can understand having them outside the cafeteria and outside of the toilets. That makes sense. But maybe you don't need them quite so frequently everywhere else. And do you know what? 
looking at that, yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I'm absolutely inclined to agree. Uh, right, okay. Got all the stuff. File out. That's it. Enjoy your summer, everybody. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Yep, all you lot. Clear off. Get out now. And, um, yeah, we're going to see how well we do. I'm expecting everybody to pass everything that attended. Obviously, the dropouts, the 41 dropouts, uh, will, will not get us anything. They will not generate any kind of results. So, okay, let's just get on with it. Continue, continue. Yeah, there we go. So, one fail from the freshman. I presume that's somebody who left. That is 18 from the sophomores, 8 from the juniors, and 14 from the seniors. We still get an A. That's lovely. Right, student results. Yeah, Sigrid left, didn't she? She left. I think the only ones that are failing are the ones that are dropping out. Let's just take a quick look. I'd be very disappointed if anybody that was still here failed. I'd be very disappointed. They all seem to be absolutely mind-bendingly brilliant at this. Merle Vrooman. Willis Yunk. Wow, Willis Young is a brilliant name. But yeah, oh look, 78. Willis not particularly great at the old history there, but yeah, that's good. Juniors, it seems everybody that, yep, yeah, failed, dropped out. That's fine. Oh, look at you. You, Plank. <laughs> Sid Yerkovic, yes, you were one of the later ones. You would have been absolutely brilliant. Look at that. But because for some reason you couldn't fathom out how to go and eat food from a canteen, then uh, then there you go. You you sacrificed this brilliant academic career, and uh, yeah, all the seniors I imagine are the same. Yeah, oh these guys dropped out early. Look at that. These are the ones that dropped out first. Oh, and you dropped out right near the end, Myung Bia. Look at that. Your results were perfect. Evaluation. I think this is a foregone conclusion. I imagine we'll be number one, unless some sort of weird, either a miracle or a disaster has happened. But okay, we're number one. We get some money. We're still number one. These guys aren't moving. Are the are Davao Springfalls getting any more prestige? Are they frozen in time? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's not properly in yet. Maybe this thing moving isn't properly in. But okay, we've expanded our lead even more with all this extra prestige. Let's go back to the build phase of year 11 now, which is brilliant. Also, just to point out, total. So passing rate A, cleanliness A, which is amazing because somebody dropped out to it big because the school was filthy. Delinquency A, I agree. Graduate pedigree A, yes, everyone's good. Total A+. Plus. Let's remember that A+. Plus. It's got an A and a plus, and it's in green, and the A is in green, the plus is in green. Remember the plus, everybody. Right, let's go to the build phase. Oh, I shall absolutely and utterly eat my words. I didn't think it had a plus on it. I just thought it took it to A, but do you know what? There we go. <laughs> hey, bro, remember that the A plus thing? Here it is again, but on a different screen. Yep, that's what I meant. I thought that didn't show. I thought the plus didn't show, but clearly it does because it's just there. I can see it very clearly with my face eyes. So, uh, yeah, the A plus does show. It's there. But again, it's good. It's good. That's the best we could have done last year. Even though we had loads of people dropping out, it was all going wrong. That is pretty good. So now we need to sort of get all this stuff done. So the first thing we're going to do is destroy all this. We need to rework all this. So all these things in here have got to come out. We're going to dismantle all of the things. So take all of these things out, please. The builders are going to be very, very busy indeed. They're going to be so busy. So we've got to take all this stuff out. Yes. And then up here, we shall just replace, well, you know, we'll sort of, once we get rid of those, we'll get money back. We'll then put them back into here. So we want to repeat all of this stuff. So we want to get all the nice things in here, all the chairs and tables and whatnot into those to make them valid classrooms. So let's go and do that whilst we're here. So teachers' tables in each of these. I'll just set these up because there's going to be a certain element of repetition to doing this. So let's get all these sort of uh, set up and in place. Do you know what? While they're working on that, let's check our admissions and let's see if the most students we can have is 500. Because if it is, then our plan here will stand. If not, we might have to go and rejig some things a bit further. I'm imagining we can only get to 500. So we've only got 400 seats. They've not put those in. In fact, let's not do that right now because that's going to make things terribly complicated. Let's make sure that we get all this done first. No, but that doesn't matter because we've got the same amount of students coming in. So let's just get every single student we can to come back in. So all the freshmen, please come in, freshmen. Yeah, we don't have enough freshmen to fill everything up, look. In fact, we've got, what have we got? 66 out of 80 seats available. That's just not very good, is it? Right, okay, so sophomores, grab all those in. Yes, we haven't got the seats done for it at the minute. I know, so we'll grab all those in. We'll grab all you lot as well, all the juniors. And then we'll grab in all the, all the seniors. And we'll see what we've got. Can I hold the button down? Oh, I can just hold the button down. There we go. <laughs> I'm individually clicking it. So we can grab all those people. That gives us... 
66 for freshmen, 117, 148, 169 in total for the seniors. Now, what we do need to do is we also need to go to here. We're going to accept these transfer grants so we get extra students in, which obviously gives us more monies. And it gives us a little bit of money anyway for this. So we'll accept that, that, that and that. Thank you very much. So now that's bumped it up. Oh, hang on. There's an extra one there. Hello. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, senior person. I didn't realize that you were there. I didn't miss them, did I? Did I miss them? I might have missed them. So that's what we've got, is it? So we've got 63 people coming back, returning, oh, returning five. Hang on, that was the five I just put in. That was the five I just put in. Now I'm very confused as to what we need. But I know that we need roughly around these seats. We need these seat numbers more or less. So we've got 170 of the seniors. So we need more seniors. So these can be abolished. These can just be removed from being classrooms. So remove zones, remove, 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 remove. Away with you. So we've got enough for the freshmen. We haven't got enough for sophomores. So let's go to classrooms. Let's zone this out as a sophomore classroom. Why the heck not? Does that give us enough? Uh, 118 for 112 seats. So no. So we need another sophomore classroom in. And that's 128 seats. Lovely. And then we need to get ourselves some junior classrooms. So I imagine we might need at least two of those. So then put that in, 149 for 144, not quite. Yep, like that. And then seniors, oh, are we going to have enough? Are we going to have enough? Oh, maybe we need to add another classroom in for seniors. Okay, do that, that, that. Yes, we do. We need another senior classroom. Okay. Oh, that's a bit of a surprise. Well, that's going to rejig this a tiny, tiny little bit. But that's okay. Unless, unless we do something with this. There's 16 students per... Yeah, look, hang on. Hang on. There's 80 seats and only 63 freshmen. So 58 are incoming. Five of we've got from the transfer grant, which makes 63. We've got 80 seats available, but each classroom can hold 16 students because there's, there's 16 chairs. So if we take away one of the freshman classrooms and turn it into a senior classroom... And that will bring down the available seats for freshmen down by <laughs> down by 16, which would mean that they would have 64, which would be fine, wouldn't it? So let's find ourselves sophomore, junior, junior, senior, senior, sophomore. It's all a bit of a mess up there. Do you know what? I don't really like that. We're going to rejig that and make it that slightly less untidy. But freshmen along here. Yeah, how about we just take this one here right next to the, the, the nice outside area, get rid of a freshman classroom and put in a senior classroom. Does that work? Yes, it does. Oh, that's lovely. And now I'm just going to go and redo these. So how many of those have we got? So we've got ourselves one sophomore, two, three sophomores. So it's three sophomores. Then juniors is one, two, uh, three, four, five. So three, five. And then seniors is one, two, three, four, five. Right, so it's three, five, and five. I just want them to be in like order because that just I don't like the fact that it's not in order. It's all a bit of a shambles. So sophomores three like that, and then juniors can have five, and then the seniors can have five, and it's all nice and orderly then. <laughs> it's because it would be a mess otherwise. It would be untidy, and I don't like that. So then this can go in. They can be seniors, and that should sort out our classroom stuff. That should sort out all of our classrooms and all of our intake from now until the end of time, it seems, because, yeah, you can only have 500 students. So we've got 528 seats. That's absolutely fine. We've got over a classroom's worth of empty seats, but I'm not that bothered. So now we've got to work out what we want to do with this space here. And then I don't imagine we can do much building up here. So what do we want to do with this? I think we just need to change this into more of those rooms. I just think that's the obvious thing to do. So let's go in. Let's get them to remove all of the things on the inside. Obliterate all of that, please, builders. Go, go and do all this. And then we can work out exactly what we want to do. It might mean them putting that middle wall back in. In fact, you know what? Don't take out the middle wall. Don't do, undo, undo the middle wall command. Everything else can come out, though, please. I think the best thing for us to do with this space is just split it down the middle. So, yes, they're taking that wall out. They'll have to put it back in again. But... I think that's the best thing we can do. And then just have this as four special rooms. Yes, they will be a little bit bigger than the others. Because I think they're six high. 
Whereas these ones here are say five high, but that's fine. They'll just have, oh, these are four high in fact, but these are five high. They'll have a little bit more room to move around in. That's it. I don't think we need to worry too much. So a brick wall down to there and down to there, please. And then we do want to take out, say, the door there and the door there. We'll have the doors coming in on the edge and then the door there and the door there. So cover those up as well. And then what rooms do we want for here? What special rooms would we like? Um, what have we got a lot of? I think we probably don't have a lot of the computer rooms, but that does not really befit a computer room. But we don't have one of those up here. In fact, we don't have any computer rooms up here. That's probably a bad thing. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. The computer rooms don't need to be big. They just need to be four high. What if we went one, two, three, four. So that'd be one, two, three, four. Built a wall along there to make those two computer rooms. And I know that impacts our running cost, but I kind of got something in mind for that. So computer rooms there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That doesn't really work there now, does it? So that's their eight big now. <laughs> so two computer rooms going there, brilliant. That's good, we've got that sorted. The only thing is this now doesn't make any sense. This is all sort of gone to pieces. So undo that, undo that, that's fine. They'll put that together. Then we need to figure out what we want to do with this space here. So, I mean, do we put some rooms coming down? Maybe we do that. How big is this? Blueprinting tool, help me. Um, ruler, oh, that's quite useful. <laughs> I, 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 I normally do this, I need a wall outline, do that, and then right click to deselect it. But there we go, there's a ruler, everybody. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, not me, because I didn't want to do that just there. Get rid of that. Right, ruler. So what is that? 23 across. So can you split that evenly in some fashion? Uh, so say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> that looked like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't, that was absolute random guesswork. Um, so yeah, we'll put that down to there, that down to there. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll put, I don't know what we're going to do with that. But let's cover that all in wall. That, this is a bit of a mess. This is a bit of a mess and the builders are going to get all sorts of confused with the commands I've given them. So let's just let them get on with this. Also, uh, in terms of flooring, what flooring did we put in the computer room? Red carpet floor. Not that you'd guess it from there because the overlay of the computer room floor I think makes it a darker colour. But red, please. So we'll have ourselves uh, some red carpet flooring. There it is. Very beautiful. So that can go in. That can go in put it in the doorway as well. So that'll be two computer rooms sorted. They seem to have forgotten to build the wall section just there. So build that, please. Oh, there's a stupid bit of wall in the middle. Hang on, <laughs> come out of that. Demolish that, please. Right, and then they're gonna get, oh no, I've trapped some people in and it's coming up to home time. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> right, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, doors, um, put doors in the middle or on the far edge on this side. What are they going to be? Sort of science lab. Joe, you know yeah, put the doors over there and there and there. It does mean we might have to demolish that uh, sort of trash bin thing. That's fine. Can we put the doors in before we have to? No, these people are going to be trapped forever. Oh, no, you are. Oh, no, you're out. Yay, we've saved you. Don't worry, poor giant person. We shall save you. Okay, everyone's gone home. Everyone's gone home. So the first day of year 11 in the build phase has ended and we've got ourselves a little plan of what to do over here. We are going to burn through that money quite quick. 30, actually no, we've got 35 grand. So we should be okay to get all this done. The only thing is the computers incur a running cost, which is a bit of a shame. But do you know what? We'll have so much money when we get paid. It won't really matter too much. And then we need to turn these into some rooms. And I think what we'll do is we'll do that next time. I think we can finish up for now. We're at a good point. The builders can get all this stuff done, so they can get that flooring in. By the time we come back next time, that'll all be sorted. They will have demolished that wall. That bin will have gone. We can sort out all those bits over there. We can sort out these two rooms here as well. And then we'll see what money we've got left. I really want to get the outside bit done. I really want to get those two tracks down in the fields and put all the grass and all that kind of stuff down. Oh, we need to sort out all the classroom stuff as well. We'll get that all done as well before we open up. But I think it's a good point to leave it for now. And we'll come back, we'll finish the build phase of year 11, and then we'll just get on with year 11 and see what money we've got. And also whether we can actually pay back some of this. We owe 36 grand. I mean, in theory, <laughs> we could pay off the loan. We could pay it off and save ourselves a thousand a day. We're not going to do that right now. We might well do that when the year starts and we get paid our lump sum of 106,000 monies. 
And next time out, we don't need to hire any teachers. We've got the full complement of teachers. We don't need any more. So we don't need to spend a load of money on hiring teachers because the teachers require, say, 9,000 or whatever it is to hire them, just as sort of a standard fee. So we don't need to go through and spend a load of money on that. So we're going to have ourselves 106 grand to play with next time, which might mean that we can get quite a big chunk of this stuff done as well. So we shall see. We shall see next time because, yeah, we're going to finish up for now. I really hope you're still enjoying this. If you are enjoying it, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid. And also, you know the drill by now, I imagine. But if you are not subscribed, then please do so in order to keep up to date with how we get on here in Academia School Simulator. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly, I suspect. <laughs> My God, it's Pingu. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have the, the engine bit. I feel that might be a problem in making a car. <laughs> I've broken the windscreen. It's, end, it's ending badly. It's ending very badly indeed. I might crash into a tree. How do I do any of the stuff with this car?